Welcome back to C5 Basics. Today we'll explore themes in your Concrete 5 website. A theme dictates the basic look and feel of your website. Themes vary in width, color, and background, and placement of specific elements like your menu, your site name, your header area, your main content area, sidebars if any, and of course your footer. Your Concrete 5 site normally comes with four built-in themes and of course you can add more. Your full list of themes can be found in two places. The first is in the dashboard area and the second is under the design tab on each page. Let's start at the dashboard. If you're logged in you just go to the upper right under Dash, and let's select that, and you'll see a heading here for Pages and Themes. Quick and easy to find, Select Themes. And here, of course, as I had mentioned, are the pre-installed themes that came with your Concrete 5 installation. Plain Yogurt, the Green Salad theme, Dark Chocolate, and Greek Yogurt, which is the default theme that this site uh, typically is displayed in you'll notice that you can activate each theme in turn. You can preview the themes. Here, of course, is how the default theme looks. But I can select Dark Chocolate and preview it to see if I like this theme better. Very dark. I uh, could use some tweaking. Not quite what I want for this site. The green salad, let's preview that. Well, kind of bright and cheery. A little different look than what the site has looked up uh, or looked like up until this time. Uh, one to remember. And plain yogurt, as the name implies, is very simple. A very black and white theme, not a lot of details, but simple and straight to the point. You know, as I mentioned, you can add themes, and I'd like to do that at this time. I'm going to go to Get More Themes at the bottom of the page. This is a list of themes, basic ones, that are available through the Concrete 5 Marketplace. Now, I can spend quite a bit of time browsing and perusing here, but to tell you the truth, I think I have one already on my project page that I can upload. So rather than purchase or upload a free one from this site, let's go back to Dashboard and extend Concrete 5. And here's a link to my project page. The project page, as you've seen in other tutorials, is a summary of what's currently installed on your site and what you're able to install on previously purchased or downloaded add-ons. I'm going to select a license here and Sweetheart theme. Let's associate that to my site. As you can see now it's shown in my list of add-ons and themes. Now, if I go back to our site, we'll see under Add Functionality, I have a waiting installation, the Sweetheart theme. So now all I have to do is download that into my site and click Install. Very easy and, of course, very fast to do. Now, let's go back to Dashboard. And back to the themes listing, and you can see that here I have a brand new theme added to the list of themes. Now, when you add a new theme, it's a good practice to first off inspect the theme. Inspecting the theme illustrates what pages come available with this particular theme. So I have a full page, a right sidebar, the default one a blog entry, and a left sidebar. Action to take, none. That means all those pages automatically load it. I don't have to do anything uh, special in order to utilize this theme. 
So I'm going to return back. Now once again, in previews, here's what my site looks like currently. You know, I, I like it, but it's not very festive. Let's take a little whimsical journey here to the sweetheart theme. I'm going to preview that. Wow. Okay. That's an interesting look. Uh, bright, cheery pastels. I don't know whether it's real cheery, real calming, or just kind of tasty looking. Uh, really a different type of layout, and yet it has the same content that my site I've worked on already has. This is a real good example of a theme that you can upload and change the looks of your site. So let's do just that. I've uploaded it, I've inspected it, I've previewed it, let's activate it. Activation, the question is, would I like to apply this theme to every page on the site? Okay. And that's it. When we now return to the website, it's had a complete makeover. A totally different looking site uh, with an attractive new theme. Uh, a theme that I wouldn't mind using for, say, bakeries, pastries, hobby site. Really attractive. Now, as I mentioned before, there's one other place that you can spot all the themes that are installed. And you can find that by going up towards that edit button, hovering, and dropping down to design. And when you click on design, we now have a list of all the themes that are available on our site and all the different page types. And we can select that for each and every page without affecting the rest of the site should we choose to. As a matter of fact, Let's experiment with that. Here's our uh, current theme. I'm going to go over to a page that I set up just for this example called Different Theme. And once again, here's our new uploaded Sweetheart theme. But on this, I wanted a little more business like, uh, let's go to Design. Let's select a left sidebar. And let's put it back to my original theme for this page and save. As you can see, same website, totally different layout. Let me publish this page to say that I approve the way that it looks. But now we're under different theme for a page. Let's head back to our home page. There we go. Once again, we now not only have a different theme on our website, but we're able to select additional themes per page to accomplish the effect that you want to achieve and the uniqueness that your site deserves. I'd like to thank Global Nerds for providing me with this fun theme to demonstrate how to change and, and modify themes with you today. And I'd like to thank you for joining us. Please check in again and see what we're offering up on new articles. If you have any requests, you can, of course, contact me at adrian.rick at arvix.com. I'm Adrian, your Concrete 5 liaison for Arvix web hosting. Stop back again.